Hey, everybody. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, for the late start. I think there was an accident near here, so people are still coming in. So, yeah. Um, at any rate, I am so excited to see all of you here supporting live music. Give yourself a big round of applause because it's super important, especially now. <laughs> and we don't know how much longer we'll be able to do, <laughs> to do this, so... It's just great to see you all here, and, it's, and I'm so glad all of y'all are here. Um, we do have a lot coming up, and um, uh, let's see. So Thursday, we're having the Appalachian Chamber Music Festival, which is kind of cool because it's very cool because we do a lot of like uh, traditional Appalachian music here, but we also do classical, and this is kind of a mesh of the two. If y'all are familiar with like uh, Mark O'Connor and Yo-Yo Ma's album and, you know, kind of the, the mixture of the Appalachian folk with the classical, and that's... They're going to be doing compositions by Mark O'Connor and Bela Fleck and, you know, the sort of combining of the classical and the Appalachian. We have Jordan Tice, who is an incredible flat, yeah, he's an amazing flat picker, really good songwriter, great singer. I mean, just he has it all going, and he's doing a solo show here, and uh, that's going to be amazing. That's Saturday, August 21st. Um, the Eric Bird Trio will be here. They are a fantastic DC jazz band, and they just uh, released an album, so this will be their album release. Um, Hubby Jenkins from the uh, Carolina Chocolate Drops. He'll be here Friday, September 3rd. He is a fantastic entertainer, historian, um, storyteller, singer, you know, plays multiple instruments, great show. Uh, the Patsy Klein Tribute, and if anybody wants to come to that, they're going to have to get their tickets probably in advance, because I think we're capping them at 100, and uh, Friday is already sold out, and uh, Saturday is going very quickly. There will be a mask mandate at that uh, particular show by request of one of the artists, who is a new mom, so, and uh, so we have a ton of stuff coming up. Please grab one of these on your way out so you can see. We will keep you updated, social media, website, check back to see if anything has changed. Um, as you know, <laughs> a lot changes all the time these days. So we are hoping to keep everything going through the winter. And um, yeah, and thanks again for being here. And also grab yourself a refrigerator magnet. It has the uh, fancy QR code here. If you hold your camera up to it on your smartphone, it'll take you to the website and show you everything that's going on. So grab one on your way out. They're free. Put it on your fridge. And there you have it. Okay, so that brings me to tonight. Who all has seen <laughs> Emmy and the, the family? <laughs> so, so great. We're so tickled to have them back. Um, so please make them feel welcome. Emmy Sunshine and the Rain. You guys ready to hear some music? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play a, a original one. This is uh, one called Miss Anna. <laughs> are heavy and my hands are bare of this cold world I have no care lay low Miss Santa lay low I say for this sorrowful sight won't you please gaze away we'll set our hands to digging in those graves those tiny little graves those tiny Roses deep piled on the clay I let the birds fly me away I lie right here until I die Near those tiny graves I lie Lay low, Miss Santa, lay low, I say for this sorrowful sight, won't you please gaze away? We'll set our hands to digging in those graves, those tiny little graves, those tiny little graves. 
Babes were but a dozen pounds when the tree shook hard and laid them down. The summer wind blew wild around, so lay low, Miss Santa, lay low, I say. For this awful sight, won't you please gaze away? We'll set our hands to dig in. Those graves, those tiny little graves, those tiny little graves. Took four coins shiny and bright to cover their eyes, their cold still eyes. No longer crying, no tears tonight. Death demands we pay his price. I say back to, to close mine too. To pay the ferryman his dues. As we travel from our graves. Me and my tiny little babes. Lay low, Miss Santa, lay low, I say. For this sorrowful sight, won't you please gaze away? We'll set our hands to digging in those graves. Those tiny little graves. Those tiny little graves. To heaven's brighter shores we go, where we will weep, no weep no more. And ne'er remember earth's fleeting days, and that red, red seizing, seizing clay. Lay low, Miss Santa, lay low, I say, for this sorrowful sight, won't you please gaze away, we'll set our hands to dig in, in those graves, those tiny little graves, those tiny Those tiny little, tiny little, tiny little graves. Lay low, Miss Santa. Lay low, Miss Santa. Lay low, Miss Santa. Lay low, Miss Santa. Thank you guys. Um, so this next one is one that I wrote with Jim Lauderdale and uh, it was my first time writing with him and uh, we wrote this song called There's Got To Be More. Now I ain't no bird
So this next song, I usually have to say that the second line of this song is not about my grandmother. Um, it's not. Um, while there is some truth to uh, some of it about my family, but I mean, it's not exactly <laughs> correct. Um, but yeah, this it's is about somebody's grandmother. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> um, this is one called Family Wars. It's the title track of my um, my latest album. And uh, yeah, here we go. Sisters out here living in sin Grandma's on the dope again And no one speaks to daddy anymore Mama can't get off the couch Her heart's too broken, she's wore out She could have been a beauty queen, but she married to young and he was mean. Instead of love, she found these family wars. These family wars. These family wars. Well, there used to be. But they're all tied up in the hands of time And no one speaks to daddy anymore Mama's laying on the hill And we're all worried about Cousin Will We know that he can't take too much more These family wars These family wars Daddy's sober after 20 years Brother finally made his way back home but I'm still out here living on my home Fighting the Fandy 
This family wars This family wars This family wars Thank you guys so much. I'm going to do a song called Teo and Tadora. Um, this is one that I started writing. Um, about two characters that I came up with when I was maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 or something like that. <laughs> but uh, I came up with this uh, whole story for them. And uh, we just um, really wanted to turn it into a song. And we did. And now we're going to be coming out eventually with a uh, uh, children's book about it, which I'm very excited about. But yeah, this is one called Teo and Tadora. They were drawn in only black and white Your world's so boring even rainbows look like stripes No dusk now will do just day or night No in between just wrong or right Teo and Tadora Live in a world without color Thought they wanted more Oh, be careful what you ask for They heard the news that there's other hues Slip through the gateway for other views Saw some beauty, saw some ugly truths Panorama is introduced Teo and Tadora Live in a world without color Thought they wanted more Oh, be careful what you ask for so many shades of things, gorgeous and complicated, you anticipate all the bad with the greatest worst, but it's better. You're brave though you're afraid, seven colored stripes now say oh and to Zora live in a world with so much color. It's charming what you've asked for. They Thank were, you. They were little black and white cartoon figures. Yeah, they yeah. were. Um, they were. I, I, I don't remember why. Um, why we decided um, to start writing about them, but just one day I started talking about those little characters I drew when I was ten, and we just they decided had so that. So much uh, personality on the page. <laughs> they did. I mean, you could just see. You could just tell there's something about them, right? But they were kind of dull because they were just black and white. They were just black and white. They're eliminated. Yeah. Now, now they're <laughs> yeah, well, just like the song so. says, right? <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, <laughs> Wait, they're running around somewhere over here. We're going to move A on. Brief from synopsis that. of the song. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, this <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I <laughs> I'm going to tell you about another ready. song now. Uh, this next one we're going to do for you, this, is, this one's called Sheshire Grin, and I wrote this song with um, Jimmy Shaw and uh, Ethan Workman, I think. And, uh, yeah, and my mom. <laughs> but we started writing this one at a, um, I guess it was a writer's room or something like that, and we, um, 
we started uh, working on this one, and we only had like one verse, and then uh, uh, Jimmy came in, and he was like, I think I have these two verses. I don't know if it'll work with it, but it just fits so well, and uh, I really love this song. Uh, this one's called Cheshire Grin. feel like me you say that my cup of this bed cupping up a flow and you don't even share shesha grin will fall from your chin when you realize how mc you've been over and over it's always the same over and over i am done with this game What you need, there's just some things you gotta set free. so much um so this next song has to have a disclaimer um i started uh writing this one um i guess it was earlier this year or something like that or uh, but i started writing this song because of um something i said during a show and my writing partner fish was like yeah we have to write that and my mom was like no that's not something we should ever write that's awful and um <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're going to write it, um, but we, <laughs> we actually ended up writing this song, and um, it's about this uh, girl named Dandelion. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to tell you what it's about, because I'm sure half of you know what it is, but um, it is a sing-along, so yeah. I want you guys to sing along to this one, if you will. You think you guys can do that for me? I, I really could use a lot more enthusiasm than that. Like, can we do that? Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, this is how it goes. La 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 and she met the new neighbor, Dandelion. Now the suburbs are oh so nice. Dandy's voice is raspy and he gives good advice. She makes great meatloaf and homemade stew. When Molly stops by for some fat to chew. Dandy, you sure changed this place. Marley, I just love your face. But you should know. Marley 
says, how can this be? And can you teach me your recipes? Go to the fridge and give me a hand and then go throw it in the frying pan. But you should know I'm a cannibal. La 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 HOA soccer moms and mini fans. Oh, Karen's grabbing about her side romance. Dandy's got a diner, Le Manchadon. Step in, we're serving everyone. Dandy, you sure change this place. Marley, I just love your face. But you should know. favorite cannibal song. Thank Out of you. all of the cannibal songs, I think that's my favorite. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. That's my cannibal song. Um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> we're gonna uh, do a sad one now. This is one called uh, Rock Salt and Nails. I'm corrupting children, is that what you just said? I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. Dance. Dance. Dance, 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 dance. I'm going to do. <laughs> All right, here we go. By the banks of the river, where the willow hangs down. And the wild birds. Shotgun 
When the rock stole nails ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you, guys. So, you guys want to hear another murder song? Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, this is one that I <laughs> this is one that I wrote called Scarecrow. Um, I absolutely love singing this song. Um, I love the story of it, and I'm surprised that it wasn't more gruesome than it already is, um, considering I worked with fish on this one. Um, but uh, yeah, we like to write a lot of stuff like this. It's always fun to come up with these kind of stories, and I've been writing stuff like this since I was maybe maybe eight or nine, something like that, but I, I really was infatuated with um, story songs, and specifically murder ballads, so yeah. It's better than sneaking out of the house and stealing the cars and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Siphling gas. Yeah. What? Siphling gas, stealing gas. Why yeah. would I steal gas? Well, because that you didn't have any gas, and other people <laughs> did, so it you happens took where we it. Come you know? from. <laughs> I used to be a thing. Uh, yeah. I can't. I just choose not to. She chooses. She really does. Hey. <laughs> can I tell him your four wheeler story? No. <laughs> well, he started it. You said no. I don't understand why this came up. <laughs> well, the, the short story is we, we bought her a four-wheeler for Christmas, and uh, she got out there to ride it Christmas morning. It was really cold, and, and uh, she got I just remember that I was like, how old was I then? Like Seven. Seven. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Context. It was a little small one, a 50. It was bigger than a Power Wheels. I mean, it was, had a full-blown engine. And okay. But uh, Get on she was it. learning the <laughs> gas and the driving, and she pressed on the gas, and it was like one of those America's Funniest Home videos where it just <laughs> runs straight into the satellite dish. Yep. <laughs> wow. I did do that. Um, Is that why you don't drive now? No, it's not because of that. I'm scared of driving a little bit. It's just, it scares me. I'm afraid to hurt someone or someone hurt me in the future. So it's, sure, it's very... Do you have like a Wi-Fi signal off of you or something now, a satellite signal? No. Oh. No, that's not how that works. It's not, oh, okay. Not works. No. okay. Let's play a song now. I thought we do that. Pick on me tonight, apparently. Aww. All right. Let's get scared. I'm going to do one called Scarecrow. Does he wave at you from the window? But at night in her bed, her fear and her dread Tell the truth of the lie she has sown Shotgun. 
and was way too close to her. In her tiny hands it rang and she ran, just wishing that she'd done it sooner. I'm gonna do a few by myself real quick. Um, this uh, this next one is one that I wrote called uh, Sideshow. I wrote this song with um, I wrote this song with um, a friend of mine out of Nashville. Um, we started working on this one, and she came in. And she was like, and she was like, I have a great idea for a song. I I really think that it could be great for you. And I was like, okay. So me and Leslie sat down and we started working on this one, and I absolutely love it now. But uh, yeah. This one called Sideshow. <laughs> Billy eats fire, Jenny's got a beard. That's how you keep the job around here. We only work three months a year. Do not apply if you ain't weird. Mary and her brother Skip. Been 20 years conjoined at the hip. Mary says Siamese twins can't date. Skip confesses he can't wait. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh. We're too strange for the Big Ten, don't you know? Whoa, whoa, welcome to the sideshow. My friends are hairy, my friends are strong. One has a tail that ain't been on. Say freaky makes us all the same. So we jump the hoops and we play the game. Hit me, I play the banjo lately. Recruited once by Barnum and Bailey. Well, you want to know why I didn't go? Cause hey, I'm the queen of the sideshow. Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh. We're too strange for the Big Ten, don't you know? Whoa, oh, oh. Welcome to the sideshow. Step right up, we won't bite you now. If you wanna see behind the curtain, you gotta lay your money down. Wanna see a woman with a handlebar? Wanna see a little baby monkey in a jar? Whoa, oh, oh. whoa, oh, oh. we're too strange for the Big Ten, don't you know? Whoa, oh, oh. welcome to the sideshow. Hey, welcome to the sideshow. Oh, I'm the queen of the sideshow. Thank you. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to take a short break, but uh, this is one of my favorite Jason Isbell songs. Not the long flowing dress that you're in Or the light coming off of your skin The 
fragile heart you protected for so long or the mercy in your sense of right and wrong it's not your hand searching slow in the dark or your nails leaving love's watermark it's not the way you talked me off through your questions like directions to this room it's knowing that this can't go on forever likely one of us will have to spend some days alone maybe we'll get 40 years together but one day i'll be gone one day you'll be gone We were vampires and death was a joke. We go out on the sidewalk and smoke and laugh at all the lovers and their plans. I wouldn't feel the need to hold your hand. Maybe time running out is a gift. I'll work hard till the end of my shift to give you every second i can find and hope it isn't me who's left behind it's knowing that this can't go on forever likely one of us will have to spend some days alone maybe we'll get 40 years together but one day i'll be gone one day you'll be gone one day I'll be gone It's knowing that this can't go on forever Likely one of us will have to spend some days alone Maybe we'll get 40 years together But one day I'll be gone One day you'll be gone One day I'll be gone One day you'll be gone One day I'll be gone one day you'll be gone. Thank you, guys.
He got me looking twice at every pretty girl who likes in-depth psychology and Greek mythology. Cause when I'm undressing it, they seem to be a better fit. Cringe at the thought of me winning the lottery. Not the type to hate myself when I'm in love. Never love somebody who reminds me of Hercules. Strong enough for hurting me. And don't you see the way that you are ruining everything? You touch all it wants and you might be the one strong enough just for hurting me Hercules 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 You came down from Jupiter to hold up all the universe In my analogy, your only fallacy seems to be stupidity I hate it, but admittedly I wish that you would stay I've never felt this way Take away my armor and I'm still defending you I don't believe in fables But I'm still pretending to Took the golden apples The place they come from I've never really loved somebody Who reminds me of Hercules Strong enough for hurting me And don't you see The way that you are ruining everything You touch all in once And you might be the one strong enough Just for hurting me Hercules, uh, Hercules, uh, Hercules, uh, Hercules, Hercules, strong enough for hurting me, and don't you see the way that you are ruining everything? You touch all at once, and you might be the one strong enough just for hurting me, Hercules. Hercules, 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 Hercules. It's a song I wrote called Josephine. I wrote the song with Malachi Mills and my mom. Did you make the bed this morning? Did you bring the kids to school? I'm finding that I'm caught without a warning And I'm not in denial I'm just caught up in my habits Missing my own partner in crime Josephine Why did you have to leave? Josephine All you did for me Did we kiss before it happened? If we did, I can't recall. It's just something that we always used to do. Now I'm just waiting through the wreckage, sorting through the pieces of my life. Hoping I can feel this hole you left behind Josephine Why did you have to leave? Josephine Oh, you did for me Life's not fair and it's not like I didn't know 
Thank you guys so much. I'm going to get these guys back up here now. Um, but, uh, yeah. Hello. They're back. We're going to do, um, he's fixing his camera. Um, uh, I'm going to do uh, this song that I wrote called uh, Ghost of Pink Williams. Um, wrote this one with Betsy and my mom. But, uh, yeah. Ghost of Hank Williams is haunting me tonight. I'm hard, sick, and lonely looking down at these days' lights. Oh, the ghost of Hank Williams is haunting me tonight. You're late. song called Room 18 and uh, I started writing this song um, about a ghost that I wrote about a very long time ago it feels like now but I wrote this song wrote a song when I was 10 called uh, called Danny Ray wait not wait wrong song wrong song not Danny Ray um, sorry I get mixed up sometimes um, <laughs> no uh, it's called strong arm robbery I, th I mix those two together a lot and their stories, um, but uh, yeah, I started writing a song called Strong Arm Robbery, and uh, this is the ghost from that story a few years later, well, a decade later, that uh, we started writing this one, and uh, yeah, it's called Room 18, and uh, I'm very proud of it. Go 
lost in revenge and murder So I tip the waitress my motels across the pavement Built on this burnt foundation And I ain't got no reservations I'm requesting room 18 And things ain't always what they seem Say it three times in the vanity Jesse Marie, Jesse Marie, Jesse Marie Here I stand spellbound You know you can't wear a good woman down And here you are, I know what you need I'm at your service and I've got the key So bring him here Sisters hide their bruises He'll pay for their abuses Lure him to the front desk Say you're stranded and distressed Fathers don't always know best There'll be no peace for his rest I'm requesting room 18 And things ain't always what they seem Say it three times in the vanity Jesse Marie, Jesse Marie, Jesse Marie Here I am spellbound You know you can't keep a good woman down And here you are, I know what you need I'm at your service and I've got the key So bring him here so much um we're gonna do the one called blue skies
good time you know we, we definitely are and uh, it's great to be back thank you so much um, but uh, I'm gonna do this one's almost a murder song yes no one died in it? nobody died in this song actually oh. yeah um, it was almost a murder song though um, this is one called gaslight
can uh, can I get some more ukulele in my monitor, please? Just a bit. <laughs> cool. See, is I just wasn't hearing you right. That's all right, I, all right. Just when I sit down and then. No, no. Give me a little more, Miss. I will, gee. Give me a little mo more, Miss M. Here all right, then. all right. I'm gonna <laughs> l stop. I'm not a. It's saying participation time. I <laughs> called Brand New Key. I love this song. So.
much. Um, this uh, next one is one that I wrote with my mom. Um, for a friend of mine um, who has autism, and I, I wanted to write something that um, he would relate to, but it could also be something to educate others on um, his experience. And this is all based on his experience and not anyone else's, but I, I think that related to a lot of people too. So yeah, this one called 90 Miles. <laughs> Do you think I'm crazy? Is there something wrong with me? Well, I don't want to be angry. I ain't trying to be. Oh, my heart's racing 90 miles down the street. Oh, I'm sitting still. But everything's moving but my feet. Oh, I'm sitting in your classroom. I'm in your pew at church. You think my mom always spanked me? The dual discipline might work. When well, you see me in the grocery with my head between my knees, tell me, do you think I'm crazy? Is there something wrong with me? Well, the kids don't want to play with me. They say that I'm a freak. Oh, well, I know they talk about me. I can hear and I can see. Well, I long to have a friend just to be beside me. Oh, well, I might not talk to him, but at least he talked to me. It's an emotion that I lack. Well, I see the way they suffer and they know I suffer too. Oh, if there's joy, I just can't share it, even if I wanted to. No, oh, I'm sitting in your classroom. I'm in your pew at church. You think my mama ought to spank me? A little discipline might work. Will you see me in the grocery with my head between my knees? Tell me, do you think I'm crazy? Is there something wrong with me? Well, they say that I'm disabled, that my problems make me weak. But I think that in my weakness, I could find a little strength. If people didn't look right through me, I believe they might see Oh, some good or some worth, some love inside of me Oh, I'm sitting still, but everything's moving but my feet Oh, oh I'm sitting still, but everything's moving but my feet Oh, oh I'm sitting still Danny Ray. Uh, glad you guys like that one. Appreciate it. Um, but no, I uh, started writing this one when I was um, maybe around nine or ten because I wanted to write something about New Orleans because I was absolutely infatuated with New Orleans at the time and I, I absolutely loved it there and uh, I wanted to write something about it. So I wrote a murder ballad. So. 
This is this is Danny Ray. <laughs>
see Walgreens parking lot. Hey, why are we here is all I thought. Not candy bars or soda drinks. I'm meant to know life's mysteries. Tell me what's in store for me. You're six years old. One day you'll see. How can I not remember that? Funny how it always takes me back. Moments that I carry in my mind. Reminding me my purpose is all mine. Reminding me my purpose is all mine. Reminding me my purpose is all mine. You call me sunflower And I call you hibiscus Your roots are planted in this town but I just seem to drift Something's lost in leaving And something's lost in staying But we wait for one another We won't let miles get in our way So guys, I guess time to do one more, and I want to thank you once again for having me here. It was a pleasure, and uh, we're gonna do a song called Sugary. <laughs> Thank you. 
Rose Hill. Big thank you to our good friend Carl. And thank you guys. For thank you, Carl. Absolutely. Thank Cosmic Carl. He does. We got merch back there. Merch back there. Yes. Don't forget to take a piece of Emmy Sunshine home with you. And come back and see live music. <laughs> 